question is the 56th question so this question is about turtles and tortoises okay so turtles they are mainly aquatic animals but they do come to land mostly to lay eggs okay as we know that uh, olive ridley turtles they have a mass nesting phenomenon known as aribata okay while tortoises they are land animals mainly land animals but uh, some tortoises they prefer to live around uh, water bodies but they don't live in the water okay they live on land so the first statement is turtles need water to live tortoises don't this is correct okay then the next statement is tortoises are generally vegetarian animals while turtles are omnivores this also is correct right generally not always okay keep that in mind then the next statement is turtles have thicker legs to help them swim while tortoises have thin flipper like legs okay so flipper like legs means uh, the uh, you have seen turtles right they have a leg which helps them swim it helps them flip through the waters okay so this statement is incorrect turtles have flipper like legs while tortoises have thick legs the the legs of tortoises they actually look kind of like a miniature version of uh, elephant legs okay so here the answer will be one and two only okay let's go to the next question the next question is about tuberculosis okay now the first statement is that it is a viral disease which is wrong okay tuberculosis is caused by a bacteria known as mycobacterium tuberculi okay hence it will be a bacterial disease right then it states that the next statement is there is no treatment for tb this also is incorrect okay so here the answer will be option d tb has a treatment known as the dots therapy okay uh, in this uh, a mix of various medicines which need to be taken at a very strict schedule are prescribed by the doctor to the patient okay in case the first line drugs uh, the initial drugs that are provided by the doctor to treat the tb patient they don't work then this kind of tb which is not cured by the initial uh, level uh, which are known as first line drugs okay if uh, tb is not cured by this first line drugs then it is known as the multi drug resistant tb okay for that second line of uh, tb medicines are provided and uh, such as the beta quinine okay the first line includes uh, rifampicin okay these two are the major examples there are many other medicines okay uh, so if tb is not cured even by beta quinine quinine okay then this type of tb is known as extensively drug resistant tb okay so keep this in mind it is an important point and uh, we have uh, two types of tbs okay one is uh, pulmonary tb which mainly affects the lungs and the other is extra pulmonary tb uh, in which other organs of body are affected okay now next question the next question is about habas puri sari okay habas puri is cotton based traditional handloom textiles of west bengal it got gi tag in 2012 and 13 okay now this habas puri sari this is not from west bengal it is from odisha so the statement will be incorrect and it did get the gi tag in 2012 and 13 so here the answer will be two only okay habaspuri sadi it belongs to the habaspura village in kandhamal district sorry kalahandi district okay so the name habaspuri 
yes the habaspuri handloom is named after the village habaspur in kalahandi district which was originally started in the 19th century by the kondha tribe also known as the kond tribe or kundha tribe okay so this was about the habaspura habaspuri sari okay the next question is about raja parva okay so it is a festival right uh, to celebrate womanhood so which is very famous in the state of odisha right it is a three day festival the first day is known as pahili raja the second day is known as raja purnami while the third and final day is known as the basi raja okay so it is a three day festival celebration of honoring womanhood during the month of asadha okay this is correct then the next statement is it is celebrated to prepare for future productive agricultural activities according to the traditional beliefs mother earth menstruates during this time so this also is correct so answer here will be option c right so this festival uh, during this these three days of this festival no agricultural activities are carried out okay why is that because it is believed that mother earth she is menstruating and going through a lot of pain hence doing agricultural activity will increase her pain so during this time there is no agricultural activities but after this a lot of um, agricultural activities take place okay <clears throat> now the next question is about nano purnima all right now so the first statement is that it is one of the 12 major festivals observed in the puri jagannath temple so yes it is one of those 12 major festivals that are observed in the jagannath temple of puri okay and the next statement is that it is considered as the birthday of lord jagannath this also is correct right so what is this nana purnima uh, if we translate this snana means uh, taking a bath bath right so during this festival the three uh, idols of the three uh, gods that is jagannath balabhadra and subhadra they are taken out to a uh, stage called as the nana mandapa through a procession known as the dhadi pahandi okay and then there they are uh, bathed with 108 pitchers of water holy water from a well which is known as the golden well okay which is present inside the temple premises itself and after that uh, they are uh, presented in an attire of an elephant which is known as the gajanana or ganesha besa okay and uh, it is believed that due to bathing so much 108 pitchers of water it's not uh, uh, like a small quantity right so after bathing so much the three lords they fall ill they get fever and hence they are quarantined for a 15 day period within their chambers okay this 15 day period is known as the anasara period after which uh, they get cured and they come out in the nabba jovana besa uh, in which they are uh, the paints and all of the three idols they are renewed okay they are repainted so here the answer will be option c okay let's go to the next question so the first statement is uniformity is found across the country with respect to the organization of state legislature obviously no the statement is incorrect right because one 
not every state has a state legislative council very few states have this two the number of seats the proportion of seats with respect to gender with respect to caste all of these are very different okay hence it is not uniform option uh, statement one incorrect the chairman of the state legislative council is nominated by the governor this statement also is incorrect because the chairman is elected by the state legislative council itself the members they vote among themselves to uh, elect the chairman okay the next statement is if a person is elected to the uh, to both the houses of the legislature the seat in one house falls vacant as prescribed in parliamentary law this statement is also sorry this statement is correct because as we know if uh, it is valid for both mp and mlas okay state legislature as well as parliament in case a uh, legislator he is or she is elected to both the houses of a legislature or the parliament he or she must vacate one seat from those two uh, either houses okay must choose one house to be a member of can't be a member of both the houses okay so uh, it is asking incorrect so answer here will be one and two only now the next question the statement one says this is about speaker okay the speaker steps out of his office immediately after the house is dissolved this statement is incorrect because the speaker stays in uh, office until the previous just before the first session of the next parliament so let's say we have the current par uh, parliament right there are uh, the members of this current parliament and we have a speaker then in 2029 a new parliament will be formed the speaker will continue till the first day of this parliament okay on the first day of the new parliament a pro tem speaker will be uh, appointed and speaker will leave office okay so this statement is incorrect then the next statement speaker of the legislative assembly resigns by writing a resignation letter to governor of the state this is also incorrect he or she writes it to the deputy speaker okay then the next statement office of since office of pro tem speaker is temporary in nature the office is endowed with limited power this statement here is also incorrect because no matter whether the office of pro tem speaker is temporary or permanent the, the office is endowed with all the powers of speaker okay so this third statement is incorrect so we have to choose incorrect so all of the above are incorrect now another question related to the legislative councils the resolution to create a legislative council needs to be passed in parliament by special majority this is incorrect the resolution for creation of legislative council is deemed as an amendment of the constitution for the purpose of article 368 this also is incorrect then the resolution to abolish a state legislative council should be passed by state legislative assembly by simple majority this also is incorrect the state of odisha doesn't have a legislative council only this one is correct so we have to find incorrect here answer will be option a 1 2 and 3 now the state legislative council is created after a resolution is passed by the state legislative assembly with a special majority so this is not simple this is special majority then this resolution is forwarded to the parliament where both house of parliament need to pass uh, this resolution by a simple majority so this will be 
simple majority and once this uh, resolution is passed by both houses of parliament then an act will be passed and that will amend the constitution but this amendment will not be under article 368 we know that there can be two types of amendments one under article 368 while the other outside article 368 uh flexibility and rigidity that concept okay i won't be going into details about it because it should have been already covered in your polity syllabus right so if you don't remember go and revise those properly these are important concepts so here the answer was option a okay now the next question consider the following statements with reference to the state legislature okay so the first statement is the actual strength of the state legislative council in a state has been fixed by the constitution the statement is incorrect the constitution it gives the minimum and maximum limits the actual strength is not determined by the uh, constitution it is rather determined by the state legislative assembly okay then the next statement the parliament cannot alter the composition of a legislative council as fixed by the constitution okay one second so this also is incorrect okay then one third members in a council are nominated by the governor while one sixth are elected by the member of the assembly this statement here is also incorrect because one sixth are nominated by governor while one third are elected by the members of the assembly okay so we have to find the correct ones here all are incorrect okay so answer will be option d then the next question is about eco sensitive zones now these eco sensitive zones they are uh, an area surrounding the national parks wildlife sanctuaries these kinds of uh, protected areas and usually they are uh, of a radius of 10 km okay so the first statement here that it is a buffer zone around national parks and wildlife sanctuaries mandated under the wpa 1972 is correct all kinds of activities are allowed within this zone this statement here is incorrect okay so here answer will be option a one only now the diff there are uh, different kinds of activities uh, which have been clubbed into three categories okay some activities are completely permitted within this uh, eco sensitive zone while another category of activities for that you needs uh, permission from some kind of authority the state government or the central government to carry out those activities while there is a third category of activities which are completely banned okay so let's see what are these activities so there are prohibited activities regulated activities and permitted activities prohibited activities include commercial milling saw mills industries causing pollution commercial use of wood major hydroelectric power projects okay while the regulated activities include felling of few trees establishment of hotels and resorts commercial use of natural water erection of electric cable drastic change to agricultural system okay these activities they need permission from some kind of authority okay and finally ongoing agricultural or horticultural practices these don't really affect the uh, ecology of that area hence they will be allowed okay rain water harvesting this does not affect it in any kind of way okay 
rather it will be helpful for us right then organic farming renewable energy sources green technology all these are allowed there okay let's go to the next question okay so the next question is about advocate general of odisha he or she is appointed for a period of 5 years this statement is wrong because there is no fixed tenure for a advocate general of a state okay he or she is appointed under the pleasure of the governor okay then he or she is the highest law officer in the state so yes and uh, is allowed uh, to represent the state government in any court inside that territory of the state okay and various other powers and functions you must have studied in your basics okay so here the answer will be option b so the next question is about world environment day this world environment day the first statement is it is held annually on 5th june since 1973 this year that is in 2024 the theme was land restoration desertification and drought resilience now this uh, world environment day it is celebrated by led by the unep okay and is celebrated every year on 5th of june so statement 1 is correct and this year's uh, environment day theme was land restoration desertification and drought resilience this uh world environment day was celebrated in saudi arabia this uh, why is this uh, day celebrated to create awareness among the people about the importance of environment okay it's that basic so here the answer will be option c both right option c yes now the next question is about anthrax okay it is a highly infectious disease that is caused by gram positive rod shaped bacteria known as the bacillus anthracis so this statement is correct it is a bacterial disease caused by bacillus anthracis okay this bacteria is naturally present in the soils and it may uh, initially affects the cattle okay cows sheep goats and other wild herbivore animals and from there it can spread to humans through direct contact with the infected animals or consuming the dairy pro product or meat of that infected animal okay so this statement it cannot spread from animals to human this is wrong so answer will be option a one only now uh, what do we call this uh, kind of uh, disease that can spread from animals to humans this is known as a zoonotic disease right this anthrax there is three types of uh, effect okay three types of disease you can get from anthrax uh, actually through three routes okay not three types anthrax is a single disease but uh, you can in uh, intake this uh, anthrax uh, bacteria through three ways one is cutaneous one is gastrointestinal while the other is inhalation okay one through touch one through eating one through inhaling okay so uh, the most common form is cutaneous that is through touch okay and uh, that is the most common the symptoms will include a, a, a itchy lump that will turn into a, a black color rash okay it will also have muscle ache then it will have fever okay and it can be fatal again there is vaccines for to prevent anthrax 
for both humans as well as animals and treatment is also for available for both humans and animals okay So question 68 done, 69. INS Chilika recently seen in news is what? Okay. So a frigate ship, a naval base in Odessa, an early warning system installed in Bay of Bengal and finally none of the above. So any guesses? So half of you might have guessed it to be a frigate ship, but this is not a ship. It is actually a naval base that is located in Odisha. Okay. It was uh, created in the 1940s. Okay. And the next question. The next question is about the first World Odia Language Conference was organized in the city of Katak. The Odia language remain, uh, re, was renamed from Oriya to Odia in the 8th schedule of constitution through 96 constitutional amendment act 2011. Okay. So the first statement here is wrong while the second is correct because it was organized in Bhubaneswar. Okay. So answer here will be correct statement only, only two. Sorry. Answer will be option B two only. Okay. Now let's go to the next question. Recently, the state has inaugurated the International Craft Summit on virtual platform in the district of Jajpur. The district is selected for having its historical significance. So, in line of light of this, consider the following statements. Okay. So, the first statement is Jajpur district is also mentioned as Jajati Khetra, Sati Pitha, and Biraja Khetra. Okay. So, this statement here is correct because the Biraja temple is located there. It is called Biraja Khetra because the it is considered that this uh, Jajpur district, that area was uh, established or created by uh, King Jajati Kesari. Hence, it is also known as the Jajati Khetra and this Sati Pitha that Biraja temple is considered uh, to be created on the place where one part of goddess Sati who was the consort of uh, Lord Shiva uh, while she was burning Lord Vishnu divided her into various parts one part of her body it fell there hence it is also called, considered as Sati Pitha okay <clears throat> the next statement who has Huen Sang in his travel log mentioned Jajpur as Jajapur. So, yes, this is also correct. Huen Sang during his visit during the 638 and 39 CE in Odisha, he came to Odisha in 38 and 39, 638, 639 CE. Okay. So, he mentioned about Jajpur, which he wrote as Jajapur. Okay. Then, Mid, mid 8th century, Gangavanshi dynasty emerged as one of the powerful dynasties. So, this statement is incorrect because as we saw, the Ganga dynasty, it emerged into power during the 11th and 12th century CE. Okay. So, this here is incorrect. Then, the Jajpur district was carved out of Katak district in 1936. This statement here is also incorrect because it was carved out of Katak district. This is correct, but it was done in 1993. Okay. So, this is incorrect. Which of the following statements is true? So, 1 and 2 are correct. Your answer will be option B. Only 2 are correct. Okay. So, let's go to the next question. Answer will be option B. Okay. Uh, recently, a memorandum of, of understanding was signed between JSW Jindal Steelworks and Government of Odisha for establishment of an integrated electrical vehicle manufacturing project in which of the following cities. So, 
here the answer will be option b that is katak and paradev okay there is that's all for that question there is nothing more to discuss about it okay then the next question is about polas fish okay not polas fish okay consider the following statement it is also known as polas sea eagle okay yes not fish it will be sea eagle okay it is also known as Palasis sea eagle or band tailed eagle. This is correct. It is endemic to India only. This here is incorrect. Its IUCN status is endangered. This all this is a correct statement. So answer will be option B. Now this Palas sea eagle or band tailed eagle. Okay. This is found throughout the eastern northern central and southern asia what do we mean by this this is found in china in mongolia russia central asian countries tajikistan uzbekistan turkmenistan okay all those stans we know and then also in the indian subcontinent bangladesh india pakistan myanmar nepal bhutan all these regions okay so your answer is option b then the next question recently the state has launched lava scheme which of the following is true regarding the lava scheme we discussed about this okay there was one more question uh, earlier okay so the objective of this scheme is providing fair msp to minor forest producers this statement is correct and this msp is determined by the state government right then the scheme will collaborate with Mission Sakti uh, self-help groups to benefit tribal women. This here also correct. Okay. So, answer will be option D. This we did not discuss in the earlier question. So, you can add it to that part. Okay. So, answer will be option C. Nothing more to discuss here. We have already discussed about the lava scheme. Then, the next question is about Amma Bank. This also we had discussed. Okay. It aims to provide banking services to uh, unbanked gram panchayat. Okay. Through CSP plus banking outlets. Correct. These CSP plus banking outlets, they provide 15 odd services, including deposits, savings, advances, debit card, other enabled payment services, all those things they provide. Okay. The objective of the scheme to ensuring banking services to all unbanked panchayats by March 2024. This here is also correct. So, we have answer as option C. Then the next question. So, consider the following statements. The state of leopards report released by ministry of environment forest and climate change okay this statement is minister it won't be ministry it will be minister okay it has been released by the minister of uh, environment forest and climate change this is correct okay the pollution estimation has been conducted by the ntca pollution estimate There is nothing called as the pollution estimate and uh, even if it is there, the, it won't be NTCA. Let's see the solution first. 26. Okay. So, uh, the report was released by Union Minister of Environment and Forest and, Environment, Forest and Climate Change. That one is correct right and the fifth cycle le leopard population estimation okay population estimation not pollution it will be population estimation conducted by the ntca okay this is correct so answer here will be option c okay so this is not pollution this is population okay then the next question about amo bhumi project this also we discussed right 
this is uh, carried out uh, in the national capital uh, sorry the state capital that is bhubneswar the objective is to build resilient urban landscapes maintain open spaces under which that park anandavana was created okay then the next statement is this initiative has been undertaken by taken by bmc odisha so this statement here is incorrect we did not discuss about this it will be bda bhubneswar development authority not bhubneswar municipal corporation okay this will be bda so the statement is incorrect it aims to providing housing for all slum dwellers in the municipal town of towns of odisha this is incorrect okay so we have answer here as option b okay okay yeah they, it is asking incorrect okay the, they have given answer as correct so if incorrect only two if it is being asked correct then it will be only one okay now 78 eat right station this we have already discussed it is not by uh, irctc it is by fasai okay so this will be incorrect this certification is part of eat right india movement correct this second statement is correct uh, the stations that uh, got this uh, certification from odisha include bhubneswar puri katak jharsugda this also is correct so incorrect is only one option a then india's first athletic center this also we discussed along with aquatic center right is recently inaugurated in birsa munda international hockey stadium raurkela no in kalinga stadium bhubneswar so this first statement is incorrect it is a training hub for the odisha reliance foundation athletics high performance center aimed at de developing athletics nationwide this is correct so correct statement will be only two option b okay then the next question is about gahir matha marine sanctuary this also we have discussed it is the only marine san uh, wildlife sanctuary in odisha this is correct it is located on the mouth of two rivers that is dhamra and river brahmani correct it is famous for breeding uh, center of olive red turtles this also is correct okay so all three statements here are correct now the next statement is sorry the next question is brahmeshwar temple which is famous for boruni jatra is located on the origin point of which of the following river so here the answer will be river baitarani okay near the gonashika hills then the next question is darjeeling tea was the first indian product to get gi tag correct in 2009 no this is in 2004 coat pad handloom fabric is the first odisha product to get gi tag in the same year that is 2009 no this also is incorrect this also got this gi tag in 2004 so both statements are incorrect so answer here will be we have to find the true that is correct so answer will be d neither one nor two next question is about ghadial okay it is critically endangered species under iucn red list this is correct it is a critically endangered species right uh, if i remember correctly did i uh, say critically endangered or endangered if i have said endangered then that is wrong it will be critically endangered okay uh, in the previous question we discussed about ghadial okay now the next statement it is a scheduled schedule 1 and 4 species under wildlife protection act how can this uh, one species be under two schedules it will it cannot be so this statement 2 is incorrect okay 
uh, it is a schedule 1 animal that is it is protected under schedule 1 but not under schedule 4 okay so this is incorrect uh, it is covered under the project crocodile yes it is covered under project crocodile so answer here will be option c 1 and 3 only okay then 84 uh, this is about per capita income okay the per capita income is a measure of average income earned by per, uh, earned per person in a given area in a specific time period generally a year right so per capita income is basically the gdp of a country or a state whichever we are uh, considering uh, of a year divided by the population of that country or state in that year okay so that way we'll find out how much money per person is there in the territory okay so this is correct nominal per capita income is the income calculated by adjusting inflation no nominal per capita income is not inflation adjusted it is the real per capita income okay while okay so this is interchanged this here will be nominal okay nominal is calculated at current prices okay so both second and third statement these are incorrect odisha ranked eighth in 2020 and 23 in terms of per capita income this is incorrect i think odisha got the rank of uh, 10 or 11 in 2022 and 3 let's see the answer will be obviously option a okay only one is correct So statement 4, okay. In 23 and 24, per capita of Odisha was 1,61,437 rupees in nominal terms. Okay, nominal per capita was 1.6 lakhs. Okay, don't, uh, you need, there is no need to remember the whole thing. Okay. Between 2011, 12, 13, per capita income of Odisha increased from 48,000 to 1,60,000 at a CAGR of 10.6%. Although the gap between Odisha and India's per capita is reduced, Odisha's per capita income was at 12.4% uh, 12 lower than uh, India's per capita and uh, rank was 11th. Okay. Now, the next question. Allied and agricultural and allied sector in Odisha constitute 48% of the total workforce of the state. So, yes, it constitutes nearly 48% of the total workforce and contributes only 20.4% to the uh, gross state value addition. Okay. So, here the answer will be option C. Both statements are correct. Okay. So, the next question is about the seed village program. Okay. So, the first statement is the program has been launched by Ministry of Agriculture and Family Welfare. The second statement is The key objective of the seed village program is to increase the seed production and seed replacement and self-sufficiency. Seed village program is implemented by Odisha State Seeds Corporation in Odisha. Okay. Now, the first statement here is correct because it is... Uh, being implemented by Agriculture and Family Welfare Ministry since 2014-15. What other uh, scheme we discussed uh, in this class is was launched in 2014 and 15? So, this lesson. Okay. Then, the next statement, objective is to increase seed production, seed replacement and self-sufficiency. This here is also correct. 
the seed village program is implemented by odisha state seeds corporation this is also correct all three are correct here okay now this uh, program it gives financial assistance for distribution of uh, certified seeds at 50% of the cost for cereals and 60% for other uh, type of crops okay and this is being implemented by various uh, state authorities and <clears throat> krishi vigyan kendras state seed corporations agricultural department of the state as well as the various universities okay so here will be state seed corporation of odisha okay corporation so the next question is about the matsya yojana okay which of the following is not the objective keep that in mind not the objective so the first statement is it aims to create additional water bodies for intensive aquaculture okay the next statement is to generate income and employment opportunities through promotion of freshwater aquaculture okay the next statement is to improve the productivity of fish up to 5 million ton per hectare per year okay so this kind of seems like far fetched 5 metric ton per hectare every year that seems like a big quantity of fish to be produced in a small area of 1 hectare right so this here will be the wrong statement okay this is actually 5 metric ton per year by 2030 the other two objectives these are correct okay now the next statement oh, sorry the next question about conservation of biodiversity in odisha to safeguard and conserve biodiversity in odisha Odisha Biodiversity Board is established in 2010 under Biodiversity Act 2002. So, this statement here is incorrect because it was established in 2009. Okay. The State Wildlife Organization of Odisha was established in 1974 under WPA 1972. This statement is correct. So, your answer will be option B. Okay. next question consider the following statements regarding aluminium production in odisha odisha is the largest producer of aluminium in the country this is correct according to economic survey of odisha the state has produced 3.5 million uh, metric tons aluminium in 2022 and 23 this statement here is incorrect this will be 2.5 metric ton if i am not uh, wrong So, 87 we saw options uh, C, okay, conservation of biodiversity, see this is 2009, okay, so we have option of 2010, so answer here, this will be incorrect, answer will be option B, okay, then the next question which were aluminium, yes, so here. We have 2.5 metric ton aluminium produced in 2022 and 23. Okay. Then the next question. Merchandise export from Odisha touched nearly 90,000 crore in 2022 and 23. Odisha ranked 10th among all states in terms of exports with 2.5% of national sale. Okay. So, we have to find the correct answer, right? These are factual questions. Try to remember uh, the facts. If not, then skip these questions in the exam. Okay. So, both these statements are correct. Okay. Odisha ranked 10th with a share of 2.5% and 
exports were around 90000 crores okay then the next question is the gsdp at current price uh, is 4% of india's gdp and the next statement is the economy of the state is estimated to grow at 8.5% in 2024 and sorry 2023 and 24 so both these statements are incorrect because the gsdp is expected to grow at 2.82% and the e economy of the uh, state is expected to grow at 8.3% okay the next question Samrudha Krushak scheme. Okay. It is a financial assistance of 4000 to all farmers. So, this here is incorrect because this is a procurement scheme. Okay. Under this, the farmers will be paid 3100 rupees per quintal of uh, rice. Okay. Yes, so 3100 rupees per quintal of rice. Then the next statement the eligible farmers should be the permanent residents of the particular area that is of Odisha. Okay, this is a, a scheme by government of Odisha, the new government that came uh, in 2024. That government has uh, implemented this scheme under which 3100 uh, rupees uh, per quintal of paddy will be provided by the government okay so it is a procurement scheme and the money to the farmers will be given under direct benefit transfer there are few eligibility criteria however okay these include the farmers should be native farmers that is they should be permanent residents of odisha okay the then the recipient must work in agriculture related fields then there should be a, they should meet the minimum uh, income requirements given in this uh, scheme okay that will be given under various specifications okay and then there is a criteria for including one age criteria after a few years or uh, some time after the scheme is implemented okay so currently the age criteria is not present it can be in the future okay now the next state uh, question is about subhadra scheme okay this one has been very famous in the news okay so it gives 5000 rupees assistant not 50,000. So, the statement is incorrect. The primary objective of the scheme is to empower women financially and to make them self-reliant, correct, by giving 5,000 rupees. So, here is one question for you. How can uh, we empower women by giving them 5,000 rupees? Uh, at this age, how much does 5,000 rupees uh, really get anything to you so think of some uh, ways in which you can support this uh, empowerment of women by subhadra scheme okay then the next question no nodal ministry is the department of women and child development of government of odisha this also here is correct we have to find the correct statement from this first statement only we have, we have found it it will be option b okay by elimination right then the next state uh, question is about pm sri scheme okay so this is related to schools okay so the scheme is implemented by ministry of culture will uh, ministry of culture uh, implement a scheme which is related to schools pm sri schools right so, this will be wrong. It will be implemented by education ministry.
then the objective is to preserve protect and promote culture this here is also wrong okay the objective is to improve the uh, facilities available at uh, around 13000 or 14000 schools okay uh, overseen by the central or the state governments okay or local bodies it is a central sector scheme no this is a centrally sponsored scheme okay so here the answer will be all three are incorrect right then the next question as per economic survey of odisha consider the following regarding maternity mortality rate so this is maternal mortality rate okay mmr maternal maternal mortality rate in odisha has reduced 50 lakh live birth in 2026 to 2018 to 119 in uh, uh, 2018 19 this statement seems somewhat incorrect So, the MMR in Odisha reduced from okay 150 per lakh live births in 2016, not 26, 2016-18 to 119 in 2018 and 20 as per SRS data. So, statement 1 is correct. Okay, there was typing error. Okay. And the state ranks 14th among the 17 major states. In the question, we had been given 8. So, this statement here is incorrect. The There is typing error in this statement, but this statement is correct. So, option will be only 1. Okay, 8. 96 is about the Basudha scheme. Okay, what is this Basudha scheme? It is Bhakti Jagabandhu assured drinking water scheme okay this is related to clean drinking water okay so the state has allocated 400 crores for uh, basudha scheme let's check the scheme aims to ensure 100 percent safe affordable water statement 2 here is correct let's check the statement 1 so, 2000 crores, not 400. Okay. These are uh, uh, those type of questions where you can't really do anything if you don't know the exact value. Okay. If you don't know, skip it. All right. Then the next question is regarding Niti Aayog's multidimensional poverty index report of 2023. As per this, MPI, the multidimensional poverty headcount ratio in Odisha has improved, declining from 29.34% in 2015-16 to 15.68% in 2019-21. Okay. Odisha's MPI headcount ratio remains higher than the national average of 14.96%. Both are both statements here are correct okay so uh, as per the mpi declining from 29.3 to 15.68 and it is above the national average of 14.96 okay then next question we are almost done recently uh, mohan manji has been appointed as the cm of odisha Regarding this, consider the following statements. Oath and affirmation to the CM has been administered by Chief Justice of the High Court. Is it true? This is a very basic question. This here is incorrect. Okay. It is administered by Governor of the State. Okay. So, this statement is incorrect. In order to become the CM of the State, he must be elected member of the State Legislative Assembly. This statement here is also incorrect because 
any person can become the chief minister even though he or she is not elected to the state legislative assembly subject to to the fact that he or she must become an elected member within the next 6 months if within 6 months that person does not become an mla then he or she will be removed from the position of chief minister that also holds true for any other minister and for central uh, council of minister as well okay so here we have to find the correct one so answer here will be option d neither one nor two now the kevda flower plant okay they are mainly grown in the coastal district of puri so this statement here is wrong it is mainly grown in the southern part of the state of odisha okay and they are in fact a small branch palm like deciduous tree okay so here option b is the correct answer and finally the last question again this is about anthrax okay caused by rod shaped bacteria okay this is correct we discussed about this affects animals like cows sheep goats as well as herbivores wild herbivores okay so this also correct answer will be option c so this is all for this test uh, good luck to you all thank you